Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to model this Lego sculpture inside of Rhino. So first I'm going to go to this model. This is what the final result looks like. I will select it and delete it. I'll go to the top view, make sure that you have select grid snap and make sure that you can see this grid. You can use whatever unit you want. I'm just using inch right here. I'll type in REC, stands for rectangle. I will start from the origin, you don't have to, and draw a rectangle like this. So the width and the height is one over three, right? We have one square here, one square here, and another square here. And I'll just type in REC again. I will get this from this point and draw something like this to here. So this time it will cover two squares, one, two. I'll select everything, type in planner surface, I'll get it. And then I'll draw a line from here to here and also from here to here. So this will be one square here, one square here and one square here. I'll type in split, select object to split, hit enter, select cutting object, hit enter and divide. Now do it again, select this object to split, select cutting object, got it. Now I will select all the surfaces that I've just cut it. I'll move it up and uh, I will hold Alt, just make a copy of this. For the bottom one, I will rotate it for 90 degree here. And then I will type in 45. So this is what we can get. And for the one here, I'm gonna select it and I will rotate it for 45 degree right here. I'm gonna select all of the surfaces, join them together, move it up. And now I'm gonna type in F, stands for fillet. I'll make sure that the radius is zero. I'll click here, click here, and got it. And the next step is I will click M and I will move from this endpoint to here. The next thing to do is I will click M, stands for move again from this midpoint to this midpoint. Okay, so basically from this point to this point. The next thing to do is I will select this surface, type in mirror, and uh, I will mirror it here, select again, and mirror it here. I'll delete this one. Now we can start the blending process. First thing first, I'll type in blend surface. Select this edge, select this edge, Make sure that you select tangency, that's good enough. And then click space from here to here. Also from here to here. Make sure that which end you are selecting makes a difference. So we got this and I'll type in filter. I'll select all the surfaces and deselect the points and curves and I'll move it. The next thing I will do is I'll select everything I will join them together. I'll type in offset surface. Right here is distance minus one, solid, no, got it. And then I'll select the original surface one more time, offset the surface. Now I'll change the distance to one and hit OK. Delete the original surface. I'll get those two surfaces and join them together. And then we'll get one continuous surface. I'll just type in duplicate border and uh, I will type in loft, hit OK, and we will get it. So this is how we make this inside for right now. Thank you so much for your attention and I'm looking forward to see you in our next tutorial.